it is known by the few that know enough to care and care enough to know that any piece of music has one of two beginnings. They are gendered. A masculine piece begins with the emphasis or stress on the first beat. A feminine piece begins with the stress on the second beat, or sometimes the third. This is a feminine beginning. There's a club in the basement of the university, and on Tuesdays they have an open mic night. I would go there sometimes and play my latest compositions. Jack was always there singing. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> so, when he came up to me one night and started doing this, I just thought he was trying to sell another record. <laughs> Come home with me tonight. Come home with me tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you talking to? <laughs> they look like panties to me. Well, whose panties? Oh, I couldn't say, darling. I could only make an educated guess. I found them in your father's coat pocket. Well, did you ask him what he was doing with them? <gasps> no, I didn't. Why not? Well, I don't particularly want to know what he's doing with them, nor to whom they belong. I just want to leave him. Then what are you waiting for? You think I should do it? Uh, you don't need my permission, Mom. But I do need your key. What key? Well, I need some place to stay just for a few months. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, you lived in my house for 18 years. <laughs> Amanda Blue. Billy Thebels? Billy Thebels was my first kiss. The only reason you agreed to go out with me is because I told you I had perfect pitch. Do you have perfect pitch? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sing A. Did you mean big A or little A? <laughs> it was really nice seeing you. It was nice to see you too. I have got to get back to the city. No, you don't. I can't imagine how you would know that. Doesn't your fiance have a photo shoot or something? Huh? Come out with me tonight! With you. Come on! A male sentence is aggressive. It's linear. It has an objective. And when it communicates that objective, the sentence is over. A female sentence is more circuitous. The point is not necessarily to achieve, but rather to explore. To convey feeling. Mental state, consciousness, images. You might be right. Our language, the language we speak, might not be your first language. As a woman. <laughs> I'm done. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I just told you everything I've ever learned in college. <laughs> I'm done. It's bullshit, right? Yeah, I thought so too at first, but I'm telling you, it makes sense. Oh my god. I just kissed you! Now I'm getting married! To somebody else! I've spent a whole month reading the New York Times from October 1929. <laughs> right around the time the stock market crashed. You'll never guess what dominated the headlines the morning of the crash. A transatlantic call Edison made to Einstein. Why am I fascinated by this? Well, <laughs> I'm becoming aware of the paradox of existence. What do I mean by that? The paradox lies in comparing my life of perpetual dynamism with the stasis of humanity as a whole. Now, what's this got to do with newspaper archives? Well, by reading these first-hand accounts of human history, I've come to the conclusion that as a species, we're fundamentally no different than we were 75 years ago. The world has gotten older, but we're still hanging by our teeth from a frayed rope above the mouth of anarchy. I read that in an editorial from 1929. <laughs>